this and hold it. Give me this. Hey, what's up guys and gal? Morgan here, MTB Connect here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Gonna ride today in uh, Canfield Mountain. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder, but uh, that mountain right behind us. So hooked up with somebody, uh, his name's Ryan Johnson, somebody I connected with on Strava, uh, just following people up here in the Coeur d'Alene area and found him and uh, he was so kind to be a trail guy today. Otherwise I would have been lost and eaten by a bear or something. So this is, uh, this is gonna be a fun adventure. He's riding the pivot switchblade. I'll give you a little bit of a preview. It's uh, what was it two generations or one generation old, Ryan? Uh, one. One generation old? Yeah, the new one came out this year. Okay, yeah. V2. And I've ridden this bike and it's a sweet bike. This thing goes downhill really, really well. So it's gonna be a good time. I'm sure we're gonna get quite a bit of a workout. We've got to climb to the top of that beast. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So. All right, here we begin the climb. Nettleton Gulch Road. Well, How long is this climb, Ryan? Uh, five miles. Five miles of climbing. Yeehaw! How long have you been riding mountain bikes? Uh, Ten. Maybe. All, all here in Coeur Lane. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. What was your first mountain bike? You remember? I one in high school. Everyone said it was mountain biking much. It was a specialized hard rock. Okay. Mid eighties. Yeah. And then, like so many people, man. Yeah. That was such a popular bike. Then I. My first bike here, the Raleigh Mojave 5. Raleigh Mojave 5. Hard tail. That's one I've never heard of. It's a hard tail. And then, about the youth, Nomad, San Cruz. Yeah. 26 inch wheel. Oh, cool bike. Yeah. Ahead of its time back then. Yeah. That for a yeah, Pivot makes a damn nice bike. Yeah. Alright, at the antennas. Cool. I've been staring at these half my life and never been up here. Pretty cool. What a view. Yeah. I used to do that when I All right, we made it to the summit. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ryan says there's a little more to climb, but this is essentially the, uh, the towers I've been seeing my whole life. Looking up at Canfield Mountain from down there, you can see pretty beautiful. What a view. Okay, that was the last little climb until well, you said we descend and then we have one more, one more little lap, I think, right? Yeah, we climb. All right. Well, we have the option. We can climb back up the road a mile or so, a mile and a half, and cool. traverse over and drop it back into the car. Or, nice. Or we can go down the way we came up. I like the tra traversing. That sounds good. Yeah. And we're off. This is called Trail D. Trail D. D. Yeah. Oh wow, so dark, beautiful. Oh yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Ryan's a rider, you can tell. He's got that natural flow. And the big bike, the big bike helps. There's that North Idaho smoke. Nice and dusty. Oh, 
this is good stuff right here. Oh, thank goodness. It rained earlier today. It gave us a good, good base. All right, I said it's not nearly as dusty because of that rain. So that's cool. Thank goodness. All right. Nice berms. Thank the motorcycles for that. Oh, oh yeah. Pick it. Pick a line. Yeah. Oh, a little over the front. Oh. -ho. Yeah, I'm not catching him. Not on his home track. Another side hip. Wow. Definitely some fun stuff. Taste it. No casing. Ha, ah, that was cool. This trail, Ryan says, called the S turns. Unlock, lock and load. There's the brakes. I hear motorcycles. There we go. Right in line. Marry the tire. All right, that was cool. Okay. What is this? And here we go. And it's a climb. Got it. Oh, come on now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. And here we are, Penn Station. Yeah. All right, that was cool. That's a good little track there. It is. Nice and flowy. That's called Jump Trail. Jump Trail. All right. And we are, we're gonna do Cave Trail now. So Cave Trail, you were kind of mentioning that earlier. Cave Trail is, it's the, it's the reason we ride up here. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's just fun. All the years I lived here and I didn't ride. Here I am now. Yeah. Good, this dirt's good. Whew. Big old whoops. Yeah, Dude, those are cool. Oh yeah, big old bank. Oh 
man. Rail that. Oh, watch your line. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Whew. Coming in hot. Good hair on that one. Dude, these irrigation wash dishes. These are cool, man. This is what it's like in the pack northwest. Oh, man. Yeah. Legs are sore. <laughs> they will break bumps. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. One of the most fun trails I've ever ridden. That is amazing. I want more of this at home. Give me this. And it keeps going. And it just keeps going. All right, he was telling me about something. And I didn't hear a word. Oh. That's probably what he was talking about. Roller dropper. Oh, dude, my legs are shot. That was amazing. That is one of the most fun trails I've ever ridden. <laughs> Good. Dude. Good. I'm glad you That were. was sick. Okay, one more climb. Well. And then we traverse and then go down. And then our day is done. Came to our traverse trail. Wow, that's a cool view. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Head on down to the parking lot.
Ah, this is cool. Big old berms. Yeah, that was cool. That's cool. A rocky chunky. Like. Yeah. Oh man, that was so cool. All right. What a day. Just finished up. I don't know how many miles. I don't know how many feet of climbing. 13.45 miles. 13.45 miles and 2508 of climbing. 2508 climb. That's a solid day. Well worth it. Those are some of the most fun trails that I have ever ridden. The uh, the one tunnel, you said it was called tunnel or cave? Cave. Cave trail. Cave trail. Man. That was fun. I'm coming back as often as I can to my hometown and ride in Canfield. This is good stuff. So appreciate you guys following me. If you guys like the like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, hope you'll hit subscribe and uh, tell your friends if you like what we're doing. I'm just out here having a good time, meeting good people. And uh, Ryan, just want to say thank you, man. Thank you. You were a, an awesome trail ambassador and an awesome guide, man. So thank you. Thank you. Next time I come back Coeur d'Alene, Ryan and I are going to hook up again. If you ever decide you're going to do a trip to uh, Gooseberry or Southern Utah. I'm looking you up. Yeah, yeah give me a call. I'll meet you halfway. Yeah. So this is and good stuff. For your subscribers, if they make it to Coeur d'Alene, have them look me up. Awesome. Yep. Ryan Johnson on Strava, right? Yeah. And then uh, on Instagram? Uh, Ryan, the number four, MTB. Ryan number four MTB. Yeah. All right, Ryan. and next time, uh, next time I see Ryan, you're going to be on a new bike. I would almost guarantee it, right? Hopefully, the new pivot switchblade. Yep. All right, beautiful bike. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Just remember, I'm out here connecting with people one trail at a time. Have a good one. Cheers.